Hi everyone, this is Esteban Gill from Steel and Flint Society and today we're gonna to learn how to do a Last Supper composite. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and if you're not part of our Facebook group, it's Steel and Flint Society Wedding Photography Education. We have a ton of stuff going on in there, so please join now for what you came for, the Last Supper composite edit video. Let's do this right now. So the idea behind a type of shot like this is so that you're able to individually light every person in the image while still having that dramatic feel to it. For this particular shot, I was at f2.8, uh, 1 400th of a second at 24 millimeters. And one thing to keep in mind is you wanna make sure that you are on a tripod if you can. This way, once you get into the editing process, it'll be much easier for Photoshop to align all the images together. So for this particular shot, we only had about five minutes to get this shot done. And I really had it envisioned on what, what I wanted it to look like. Uh, my settings here are enabling me to darken out the surroundings and only have my flash be light that is prominent in the image. So nothing else other than these lights up here are, are actually gonna be in the shot because of my settings. You always wanna think this with off-camera flash that your settings are what's gonna control your ambient light. All right, so for this shot, I took one, two, three, four, five images. And then we're going to composite them into Photoshop. So it's actually quite a simple process. Uh, and I'll get started here. So you wanna make sure that you edit all the images before you bring them into Photoshop. The reason is because once you bring them into Photoshop, they become TIFF files or they could become a JPEG file. And then once you bring it back into Lightroom, it's it's going to be pretty difficult to apply any of the presets that that you you might have on i personally like using soulmate 7. so once i click on soulmate 7 bring the exposure up and that's pretty much what i want it to look like i'm only doing exposure change i think the white balance is pretty good on on this uh, once i have my first image edited i'm going to actually select all of them and i'm going to sync all the settings so sync um, and I, I like to keep exposure off because i like to control that by myself once I go over the images, so. So synchronized, and I'm gonna check them out and see what, how they came out. So I could probably bring up the exposure on a few of them. Once I'm satisfied with how the exposures are gonna look, I'm gonna bring them all into Photoshop. So I'm gonna select all of them. I'm gonna right click I'm gonna go to edit and open as layers in Photoshop, which is what's gonna allow me to, to do masking. All right, so once you're in Photoshop and all the images open up as individual layers, the one thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the images are aligned. Once this opens up, I'm gonna select all the layers. So once all the layers are selected, I'll go into edit and I'm gonna to go to auto align layers. Hit auto, auto is usually pretty good. Photoshop is gonna read all the images and it's gonna to try to align them as best as possible. Uh, as you can tell right here, this is how much movement there was on the camera from all five different exposures. Looks like there was minimal movement, but that's because I was actually on a tripod. If you're hand holding your images and you're doing more than two or three, uh, there's probably gonna be a lot of adjustment. Uh, so I would definitely recommend using a tripod. All right, so now that they're all aligned, now, I'm going to take my first layer up here. If you take a look, what I'm going to essentially do is I'm going to try to brush this area of the second layer onto the first layer. So in order to do that, I'm going to select the top layer here. I'm going to click down here and go to add the layer mask and go to your brush tool. Once you go to your brush tool, you actually going to be able to brush the bottom layer onto the top layer. So now what you can tell is that both layers are now aligned. I've brushed the bottom layer onto the top layer. Um, 
Now the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to merge down. So that merges the two top layers together. And then just repeat your steps. So now this top layer, you're going to want to create a layer mask and then mask the bottom layer onto the top layer just like I did before. So create a layer mask and then just brush the next layer down. In this area here, you can tell that there's still a little bit of softbox in the image. But that can also always be cloned out or, um, or you can just take one image at the end of your exposures to use as a background. Um, unfortunately, I didn't really have time to do this for this particular image, so uh, I'm just gonna have to Photoshop a lot of stuff out. All right, so once you do that, you right click, you merge down and create another layer mask and go to the next section. Merge down, create a layer mask again. So that's essentially it. All you're doing is just repeating the same thing over and over again as you're brushing the next layer into your final image. Now you, you could tell that there's a couple of um, uh, sections here where the softbox is in the image. I mean, it's a simple Photoshop fix. You just merge down, uh, this becomes a final layer. Then you can just take your, your clone tool. There you have it. Now I just have to do is I just save it back into Lightroom. And there's your final image. Very simple. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think. Make sure you subscribe. Thanks.